How would you paint a picture of what this place is here in this lab? Oh, in this lab we do non-invasive brain stimulation research. So uh, we look at uh, different types of uh, ways to stimulate the brain externally to change behavior in a way that benefits the airmen. So it's a little nerve-wracking at first. Uh, the first couple of tests I did, I don't know, it was a stimulation that helped me out, but I felt a little bit more focused the second set of tests that I did. So it's very interesting. You think it enhanced you at all, or no? NGT 504. Actually, I felt more focused on the next, uh, the second set of tests I did. So I don't know if it was actually part of uh, the stimulation, or I was getting more comfortable. But I'm definitely interested in what uh, what they did to me. What we've been doing is is examining ways we can change brain activity in a way that that increases performance on specific uh, cognitive skills. Uh, in particular, we've been focused on sustaining attention for long periods of time um, and we think that that uh, applies well to a variety of the missions the Air Force does now since we are so heavy in intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance there are a lot of image analysts on the back end looking at the imagery uh, looking for specific targets and you know they may have 12 hours of doing that uh, a day for six days so uh, during the test I felt a little bit of itching there's some different stimulation on on my head, uh, some tingling, a little bit of pain, but uh, the overall discomfort wasn't too bad. We see an enhancement of attention that lasts for uh, about six hours or so. People feel more awake for uh, at least 24 hours after the stimulation. Uh, and if you can imagine, when you stimulate uh, in a way that enhances attention, you can also improve things like learning and memory. So the more that you can pay attention while you're undergoing training, the more you'll encode and, and be able to retrieve later. So we've done a few experiments looking at uh, accelerating training and we found some really nice results. Uh, we've been looking at the effects on, uh, on staying awake for long periods of time. So if you're sleep deprived, does this help you uh, stay awake? And so far we've found that uh, it does indeed help you, uh, especially in terms of uh, attention and, and, and things like reaction time, which is a good uh, indicator of arousal, and also with the mood. So we found some really nice changes in terms of people fe feeling less drowsy, less fatigued, more energetic, uh, higher vigor ratings, uh, their composite mood scores are better, they feel happier, they feel better able to do the tasks, um, better able to focus on the tasks, and that effect lasts at least 24 hours after, after stimulation. Um, and the effects on learning last uh, at least 24 hours after, after stimulation. I do feel like a superhuman. All this stuff's trapped to me. It's kind of inevitable. It's like X-Men. It's definitely like X-Men. So I'm looking to uh, have some superpowers, maybe wake up in the morning and have uh, some new cognitive abilities. So we'll see what happens.